Well, it pains me to say that we will have to cease production on the P virus immediately. The subject won't stop melting every other part of the commentary! First of all, who are you and why are you impersonating me? And second off, the test subject just left. You don't have to embellish things ha, like a ha, devil ha, damn ha. fool. I have... In any... And then him... No, Matt, you did not steal anybody's Behold research. Behold my it new creation. never creation. our research. Behold my new creation. The W virus. The I hell's that? I two Weskers. Ha ha ha. Honestly, you were saying that. I was going to say like, Dear brother, don't you recognize me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an only child! Oh, gee, would you- No, would... actually, actually, no. Fun fact, Wesker is not an only child. He does have a sister. Yeah. Oh. Shut up! Re Revelations 2 confirmed that. And Do she's they... just- oh, and she's nice. about as batshit insane as her own brother. So, she's a villain as well? Yep. Ah, fair. If not for a brief stint, but uh, we'll get to that later whenever we do uh, Revelations 2 for the channel. Anyway, sorry. Okay. Uh, somebody was saying something. I apologize. <laughs> but I yes, was... so, brother, it's me, Arnold Wesker. And that... <laughs> You're real? I just made you up as a scapegoat. And then with everything else going on, I was going to say that it does make you think, like, like who do you think would... Oh, yeah, by the way, oh, geez. Oh, jeez! The hell are these things now? You killed my baby! Apparently, anyway, these, these are pretty much... A... Pretty much the result of when you cross a with, cross a human fetus with fly embryo. So they're flymen, okay. Pretty much. Um, all right. They're and very erratic. Like... They're, they could be kind of nasty, but other, but, other since baby. I have, hmm. but since I have but since I have the Magnum on me, they're practically chumps, and you nice. only see them in this particular section of the game. Okay, and then the thing I was and the thing I was saying, uh, uh, Matt, was that. That uh, I wonder, like, who would win in that kind of like British snark off, Liquid or Wesker? Liquid. Liquid. Really? You think Liquid could out talk Brit? Uh, talk? I, I almost said out British. You think Liquid could out talk Wesker? Well, no, 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 no. He wouldn't out talk Wesker. He would out British him, though. I mean, he's. I mean, I don't think Wesker is you British. You can't so out I mean, British kind of a, me. I like, call that's a fight he can't chimps. win. Also, reload your fucking gun. He's working on it. I'm just, I just want to read. I just want to read a little bit more of this Bible skit. That my mother, my mother asked me to. <laughs> Who do that? Despite all his di diabolical schemes and whatnot, he's st he's still. You know, I forgot what I was going to follow that up. <laughs> my third baby. <laughs> what? What? Okay, the scenario I just saw in my head there, especially with that one, that damn corner of the wall. If this were if this were Trinity mode, I would be making an absolute damn damn mistake right there, wasting all my magnum shots. Oh, oh hello. Hello. <laughs> what were you expecting there? Let's just leave. I hate the sound of this room, by the way. Well, we are in the boiler room. But no, I was gonna say what 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 that almost looked like back there was it looked like the the fly man on the right was like, I tell you to go do it. All right, I'll do it. And then the other flyman just ran a circle around you and was trying to get back. Like I did it. Also, I did the dare. I ran around the. Also, these up. things are uh, generally easy in this version. Again, have fun, Logan. Are oh, those yeah. the bugs you're talking about? Yes, they are. Okay, uh, you should just said they that. They are easy in this game. They are so oh, oh, much worse in the remake. Oh okay. yeah. By the way, I uh, hope you have fun carrying carrying some nitroglycerin in your pocket. Oh, we are doing that, aren't we? So now, are we actually at risk of, like, if we get hit, we'll, like, just blow up? In the remake, yes. Oh, god. Okay, so now we're two, since we've more or less... What the... Barry? Hey, Barry. What? How did you find us? Jill. You left the door you're open, here. Jill. Oh. You're here too. Yeah, maybe we should have covered our tracks better than a wide-ass fountain of awesome. doom open. By the way, but yet... fun fact, I learned that this game has a Guinness World Record. Would oh. anybody like to know what that Guinness World Record is? Do it, is it? I don't. I don't fully agree with it, but apparently it has the Guinness World Record for the worst script in any video game ever. I'm not joking. I wouldn't say script, script delivery, sure, but like, no, the script, script I think is still solid. But I would say, but I would say the script is still solid. But then again, like there's a whole video. <gasps> you did a fine job, Barry. What? What? Yes. Oh, well, motherfucker, Barry. I thought we were broskies. That's a good boy. Here's your dog biscuit. Oh, Wesker's holding him, holding his family hostage. Yeah. 
Although honestly, I would have loved the scenario if he was holding him holding him hostage over over a bag full of Birkin biscuits. Would you do it for a Birkin snack? Oh boy! Oh so boy! West... Oh boy! So yeah, what? So yeah, surprise, surprise! I was already saw that photo. <laughs> Wesker was one of the Umbrella researchers working here, and Umbrella mainly brought us here so that he can cover up everything that had Umbrella's involvement and kill off all the stars. Since I guess we're the only people who could like stop him. There is a secondary thing. There was a secondary motive he had, in that he wanted up. He wanted us to come here so that he could, so that we could play with his new toy. I mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground. I mean, granted, and wait I would have preferred a boss. I would have preferred a more Barry. cleaner way of doing it, but you know, union demands. Mm, Barry is remorseful, but his family's at like in that stake. Yeah, his wife and two daughters. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him? By taking his family as hostage. <laughs> I love it's like, We're how come you guys can do it? I mean, I mean, we well, just uh, did by doing, but yeah, by doing exactly that. I mean, you kind of just answered your own question there. Because, because, Jill, I don't have, I don't have a heart in me. Just, Umbrella the, took it away from here me. Here we go. By the just way, the, it, the Guinness World Records worst game dialogue ever. Okay, well, that's fine. Yeah, because then that I think that I think that involves delivery. Mm, I don't know. I need to show you this one game that has literally the worst acting I've ever heard. You're a brave girl. It's an RPG that is like everybody in the game was acted by one family that couldn't act. Yeah, maybe later. Anyway. By the way, since we're technically playing the Jill scenario, there are certain aspects of it that technically aren't considered canon. Like, you know, Wesker literally getting backhanded by Barry. Ow. Oh, and surviving. Sorry, so can we just leave without facing the ty the tyrant then? Uh, no, we're still gonna take out the tyrant. <sighs> I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with. I'm not alone. dead, you know. Now please get off my legs. So not until you give me my Birkin biscuits. I gave him to you already. Did you not see me toss it to you when you had Jill at gunpoint? You took my only food, Wesker. No, I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> so anyway... Okay, look, just take half of mine. You took my only sandwich, Wesker. Now I'm going to starve. And then, and then what you were saying, how like, yours, you mean mine. Do you want the stupid biscuit or not? <laughs> anyway, as we're, as we're getting on this tyrant, uh, tyrant, uh, tyrant, tirade on this rant... So we're gonna go back there and kill a mu uh, a genetic super weapon. Which I mean, to Barry's credit, he does bring a good point in that it probably wouldn't be a good idea to keep that thing, you know, alive in the event that it does wake up and you know cause cause more trouble than what's already been happening. So do we get to tag team it? Sort of. All right, let's go. Oh. I think we found him. The tyrant. Is indeed beautiful. He can use to clip its nails. Yeah, that's, that's... What makes it look so exotic. You don't understand my vision. My purpose to create the world's most successful internet wife. <laughs> no, no, no other idol in the world quite has the heart that Tyrant does. Ah. Nine feet thirty. I, I actually don't and know how, I, high, how tall. And the I have created the world's greatest internet, internet waifu, Lady Demaster Q. That, well, that, that's what I was going into. Was, Nine that, that's feet what I was tall going into. of internet fantasy. And have you seen that posterior? Did you know? Did you know that in some video game displays, Capcom has even like had like they've commissioned a life-size like cardboard cutout of her to be put in some stores. Oh yeah. And also, there's they. I think they are commissioned her, or she just did on her own. There's a six foot nine cosplayer who cosplayed her recently. Oh, nice. nice. Also, I, I was gonna, I was gonna say with that cardboard cutout, it's kind of like I can imagine on there, a sign right next to it. You must be this tall in order to kiss the waifu. <laughs> Pretty much, and the tyrant is free. What do we do? Uh oh. We didn't think this far ahead. Maybe we should, you know, you know. Screw draining the liquid, we could have oh. just aimed our magnum right up its face. Yeah, maybe we should have just yeah, shot him while it was in the glass, but... Don't uh, worry, Barry's, don't worry though, Barry's still alive. But you can't control what it does, it's a monster! That's why I'm gonna blow it up! In two shots. Yeah, the magnum is wow. really fucking overpowered in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'll 
Okay. To be fair to the game, though, it would take at least one or two other shots to kill him in the in the normal You're mode. Right. Again, I'm on trading mode, so certain enemies do die a little faster. Yeah. It's no. gonna be that easy. It's it's gonna be that easy for me too, right, Matt? No. No. Clumsy. No. Uh, Assuming you still have the magnet, maybe. Let's get going. Okay. Sorry, back to you. Hi. Which, to be fair, you do know how to get in that game now, so. I already got it. Yeah. But, anyway. uh, but back to you. Hi. Who's hype? Wesker hype. Wipe, as I will refer to him as. <laughs> Wipe. What, what kind of degenerate <laughs> are you? Because Wesker hype. I don't know. Oh crap! By the way, Wesker ran off. And it activated the self-destruct system. Also, uh, we still need to find Chris. Oh, yeah. By the way, if uh, Barry died by the time you reach this area, uh, Wesker does get killed off by a Chimera. But that's also right. Which is non-canon. Yeah, so, so... Well, he still gets... Which, I mean, to be fair, it would have been a decent enough excuse for canon, considering he still dies anyway. Yeah, but he dies, like... 11 years after this point. Not in real time, but in game time. And from a fucking rocket launcher in goddamn lava. Well, you know. You know, let's just let's just get out of here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, by all accounts, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, the man himself is literally a walking... Is literally a walking... Oh, oh God! hello! Oh, God. I, I, I love to imagine, like, what just happened there was the fly man was just going on, like... Himself, get out of the way! Like they're all trying to flee too, but we can't let any of them live. Oh, or else they'll breed with Ouroboros oh, and become a real a minute. mess. Jill realized he, she forgot something. Thank you, Map, to let us know that there's another part of this room we haven't gone into yet. Yeah, because we still have we still have um, the passcodes to activate this door. Also, I do Which, apologize. Yeah. This this escape music is cool. Don't get me wrong, but. I still prefer dun 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 yeah, dun dun dun. I mean, that's just that's just pretty much that's pretty that's just pretty much the you know de facto example of proper escape music. Why are you dullard still here? Because we needed to get we need to save this dude who's been kept in prison. That's why you need the mo discs. Yep, you need the mo discs in order to save the second play the second second protagonist. In this case, Chris. As you know, mo disc, mo oh, characters. Jill. Thank you, Jill, the master of unlocking. You really are. Wait a minute. Wasn't there a little girl that was with Chris? Yeah, wait, what happened? Yeah, does this does Jill's story just never mention Rebecca at all? Oddly enough, I kind of wish the remake did this, or the remake... I wish there was, like, some explanation, like, the story's running parallel. That's what yeah. I... I would have preferred that, but unfortunately, the remake does what this game does too, and just goes. It's like alternate universes. What? Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. If you're playing as Jill, you're Jill. You only have Barry. If you're playing as Chris, you only have Rebecca. You but can't I... have, by all accounts, uh, Rebecca and Barry never meet in person. And I guess I understand why. I understand because limited resources. Like they have this whole map, and you have two options that happens there. Like. You can't, it would, it would make no sense if, if this is all happening parallel, nice, this would make no sense if Jill and Chris were solving the exact same puzzles at the exact same time, which you'd only have Although, to solve it a once. Thought just a thought just occurred to me, though. Hmm. They could have easily just let, you know, these opposite partner characters be locked up alongside the other playable yeah, characters. Yeah, exactly! Players. They could have done but, that. They could have just. But had I'm saying, but I'm characters. saying, but I'm saying, hear me out. I meant in the sense of, it, in terms of like why they have to treat like an alternate universe. It's because they can't have Jill solving the same puzzles inside the mansion with the crests as Chris is because, Let's go. It, you know, what I'm saying it would make no sense that they have to like combine the two, or they would either have to half all the puzzles and divvy some of them to Jill and some of them to Chris, hey, thus making it a much shorter game. Or I think they chose Logan. the best option they had at the time. Yes. They literally do everything you just said in the sequel. That's what I'm Different, saying. But 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 for, but for limited resources in this game, they couldn't. Do it. I will yeah, say though, so, to, to be fa to be fair though, they do in the sequel. Though they do a pretty crap job about it because you're still recollecting a lot of shit. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. But uh, but certain things like certain puzzles and all that, if you solved it in the first go, they're not in the B scenario. So. So when I. I'll have to talk to you more about that later then, but anyway. Uh, Brad Barry... is still out there. Barry's like... Oh, Barry, it's great oh. to see you too, but oh. let's do that later. Oh. Chris, please get out. I need to... Chris, this is a... Get out of the fast lane. Chris, we all don't want to... We all want to survive today. Why would you pick this up? Because... You need to. You... Oh. 
You do you need two primarily because for the uh, scenario we're about to go to, you're gonna need at least one empty uh, empty uh, item slot. Okay. And yeah, so this, honestly, I, this, I, I, this, I, this yeah. literally forces you into doing that one empty uh, slot like thing, and I do like that. Uh, Skip the cutscene and just go! Oh yeah, this cutscene is counting. Like, I wonder if it's possible to actually be in the middle of talking to somebody when the bomb goes off. <laughs> actually, now that I do think about it, I wonder if you could skip the cutscene and the time limit would still, you know, be as it should. As it I think was, it would, because I, I, I think it's like on a global timer. So yeah, I think same same with getting the rocket launcher ending. Like, yeah, you could like... Oh my god, elevator, please. Hey Steve, how you doing? Oh, Steve. Okay. okay, he's still doing this. So <laughs> we're almost out of the we're case, almost out of this mess. I am just... Birkin. <laughs> Anywho, James, no, who is still okay. here. Uh is this like now how much of a victory lap is this like finale or is it still like pretty tense all the way to the end? It's not the worst thing in the world. Even in the even in the uh, deep like in the default difficulty, you're given just enough time to do everything that you need to do. Just don't just don't lollygag too much. Like what James is doing. <laughs> well, well, no, 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 the, the timer's technically frozen while I'm in the inventory screen. Thank you very much. Brad, get your ass down here. <laughs> Step away! <laughs> kind, of a, kind of a little... And it's... Okay, do we summon him? Yep. There we go. That was fast. There he is. You can see him. Wow, the animators really worked hard on that portion. No, I'm sorry. I'm giving them a hard time. Look at that shadow. It missed. Get over here. <laughs> oh, Turn around. Hold on, hold on. I, I only around, graduated sorry. from flight school two days ago. You know, and it kind of rope. explains why he ends up becoming zombie child in the next two games. Oh yeah, by the way, it looks like a big baseball oh. glove over there is still not dead yet. I'm back! <gasps> Go, my daughter. Kill her. And we're all out of Magnum Browns. Oh. Whoa. Was that a dodge roll? Did that actually take damage from oh, that? Oh, that you take damage. Yeah, wow, he pushes you far. Brad? Oh, hey, so that's what Resident Evil 7 was referencing. Don't kill the monster. Uh, you are Amazon? I mean, yeah. And thus is Ooh. how every single Resident Evil game ends. Yeah, Resident Evil 7. Not all of them, but most often than not, with a rocket Bye. Oh, shit! Oh, well, shit! Well, I was gonna say also the concept of you know getting airdropped a you know weapon oh, no. to just really just wreck crap up with. You heartless fiend! I'll bite your kneecaps off, maybe. <laughs> I'll bite your legs off. <laughs> so uh, where's Chris and Barry? Uh, they'll be up in momentarily. Don't worry. Rad. And now we're out of here. Oh my gosh. You yellow belly bastards! I'll bite your legs off! You know what? That was. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and, and uh, whereas the intro. Whereas the intro FMV was in black and white, the outro was nice and in color. Yep. We did it. And we deserve ourselves a nice rest. You know, I wouldn't mind a rest if you would let me join you. Thanks for. Oh, okay. The, hey, Barry. Good old Barry. He, he really loves that. He loves that little snub nose revolver. I feel it's like his, we're forgetting. It's, it's like his, it's like his second life or something. Can't help but feel like we're forgetting someone though. And freaking Rebecca's like, what? just technically speak, you know, technically speaking, in Jill Sidari, we never, no one from Bravo team makes it out. Oh yeah, not even in her. Oh wow. But um, and then lastly, as and as they're flying away, and as they're flying away, it's like, and and as they're flying away, they're like, I can't deal with these zombies anymore. Goodbye, Raccoon City. Hello, Willamette. Oh god, no! And then two years later, just out. Oh, god damn it! Wouldn't that be some shit if those two franchises actually, you know, properly crossed they over won't. at some point? You, you know, I know they because won't. They, they, they're far too different from each other in terms of their overall lore. Yeah, though. That, and, yeah, also, and, that's yeah. also, and that's also as sad as it is to say, Dead, Fr Dead Rising is also a <clears throat> dead franchise. Yeah, well, that, the Capcom's own fault with that, or at least they're outsourced. Anyway, I do, I James, do hope what that Capcom mm -hmm. brings it back. Though. I mean, again, I'm not I'm not against it. Just they have to go back. They need to look at what made one and two work. Yeah. Anyway, also, uh, you know, switch ports of the first and second games wouldn't hurt. 
Yeah, yeah. But, enough, but, yeah, but enough about that zombie franchise, about this zombie franchise. James, what did you think of the first, of, you know, Deadly Silence? I mean, good cornball fun with some nice, uh, you know, quality of life improvements to make it a slight bit easier. That's honestly the only reason why I decided to go with this whole redemption arc in the first place, because the original game is the original game. Very jank, very, you know, there's a lot of cobwebs you gotta sift through, but it's still a, a decent enough experience to, you know... It's it's one of those things. It's it's one of those experiences that's fun to watch at the very least. Honestly, if you think about it, this game is the best of both worlds and the quality of life improvements that the DualShock version gave, but it has the much superior like music and certain parts of the first uh, edition. It, and it, it also has and it also has like I said before, it also brought in a few things from like the like the old like the newer games like the the, the 180 spin and the having a Knife. Knife. Yeah. It is really interesting, though, to look at this and be like, it is super interesting to see like a DS being like th that. This DS port is like the definitive way to play the game. The, oh, you were become... close. Yeah. So uh, is, close. is is it yes, is it three so hours? Is it three hours to get the rocket launcher? Uh, below three hours. Yeah. All right. Wow. Yeah, it's an infinite rocket launcher. But anyway, uh, uh, Wesker, what did you think? Well, first and foremost, I was completely unsatisfied with how I was portrayed in this video game. They made me look like an absolute tool, which is not how I am in real life at all. No, he's much more of one. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, James, is that it? Is that it? Are we finally done with this DS? On my end, yes, we are. Though that being said, we do have one bonus part to share with you guys. That's all about Redfield. Chris <gasps> Redfield. Oh. Right. You forgot about that. Because, yeah, because again, this is our plan to, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that more there, but yeah, that, that stay tuned for the Chris, the Chris Marathon. As played by the Rebirth Mode. <gasps> See ya. Tell us, everybody. Okay, I, I, I guess we'll ask him his opinion then.